Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to my alternate Star Live Another Life series. And uh, we've joined the Thieves Guild and we've given the Loud and Clear quest, but that's a little bit above our pay grade at this moment in time. So before we jump back in, there's a few things I want to sort out first, and, and a couple of those things are getting two of the bows, which will see me pretty much through the whole game. Now, we've already gotten the bound bow, see the previous uh, video if you missed it, and now we're going after Creation Club's mod, Ruin's Edge, in this video. Let's just jump in. Okay, now this is one of those mods that actually starts with a fairly decent little quest actually and it's called obviously the Edge of Ruin Quest and it's in Stony Creek Cave and so let's have a quick look at uh, where that is. So here we are near Fort Amal where we just got the bound bow and whatever you do guys, uh, obviously this is the Creation Club mod so you're going to pay for it, you don't need to do that, whatever you do get the bound bow. Um, but I do like Ruin's Edge, I think it's a great little bow but of course you know you have to pay for it and I've just cast the spell of editing and here we are at Stony Creek Cave now heads up on on this uh, guys this is actually quite a tough uh, quest this isn't particularly easy uh, especially at our level um, so I suggest you quick save here um, because there's a couple of um, a couple of NPCs in there which can do you a lot of damage very quickly so <laughs> quick save and in we go I'm loving this I've been played I've been playing like a really pl a powerful character for a long time and it's really refreshing to uh, uh, be so weak again and also, this alternate uh, Live Another Life uh, mod means that I can start without having any dragons around as well, which kind of throws a whole different flavour on the whole game. You know, it's really good. Really, I'm loving this. Um, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to get this series to go yet. I might actually just do a bumble and stumble all the way around Skyrim for a while. Um, that would be quite interesting. Anyway, to the task at hand. Here we go. I wouldn't be coming in here without the two followers, I'll tell you that much for, for nothing. Damn, I've got a snake there. There you go. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, this mage can one-shot you, by the way. Well, not one-shot you, but uh, a couple of shots and you're dead. At the, my level, at this level here. Let's, uh, let's put in an extra neck. Okay. And I'll leave Sophia and uh, Stormy to deal with her. Right, lots of good little gear to, to Nick here. Obviously it's levelled or whatever, but... Uh, oh, is she still scrapping away? Oh, there's another one as well. Yeah, just leave them to deal with that. And we'll go lose him. Yeah, I decided to give Sophia another chance. Um, and she's actually proven better than I thought. No, I'm not going to touch that, no. No. Just opens up another bloody quest and won't get out my uh, inventory. Oh, I'll take that. Take the nom 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 nom. But yeah, take that, that, and take that. Yeah, I thought I'd give Sophie another go and she's proven okay. And mushrooms, get out of the way, Sophie. And I've got to say, in he goes brilliant. He actually gets out of your way and, and steps out, steps out of your way. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, come on. Won't get up there. What the hell is she doing? Oh, I don't know what she's doing. Oh, made that illusion. Fantastic. No, I'm not touching those. Fire salts. Nom nom. Okay. Okay, let's get those. Ectoplasm. Nom nom. And got up there. Oh, the hitboxes and these are very small. Well, yeah, there you go. Come on, dead death bell. And death bell. And death bell. And see what this little character's got. Still dagger. Soul gem. Oh, that's handy. Well, I say it's handy. Um, it's got me lost before. But if you're desperate, 
you know, you can always use it. Okay, and we'll loot these guys. Uh, nothing. Yeah, so anyway, what I am installing, guys, is, is going to be a camping mod. Um, so I told you I can't buy a property until uh, I've been given permission uh, from a Thane. A Yarl, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to install a camping mod until I get that done. And, uh, oh, coin purse. I was going to make an exception in one case, but uh, I've decided not to. And I'm going to download Bruma as well. So I'm going to be taking this character into Bruma. And once I've got all these kind of things done, I'm going to kind of play this in an entirely different way as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to like this. And I hope you're going to like it too. Right, so we've got a couple of little... Uh, We've got the bandit chief and another one of his little helpers down here, so we'll just pop in Stormy. Okay, that's got them going. Good night. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to just punch him in the head. I forgot to whip the sword. And that's it. Job done. Right, we'll do a bit of losing before we grab Ruin's Edge. Yeah, might be going here. And you've got Moonstone. Oh, by the way, if you hop up that a, a waterfall, it takes you into a Dwarven Ruin. So, uh, or Dwemer Ruin, sorry. And uh, that's, that's a back way in. I did it on a couple of builds ago. And let's have a look. And there you go, Ruin's Edge. And Red implies one of these effects to the targets, Demoralise, Frenzy, Drain Magicka and Paralyze and Frost. It's a good bow, guys. It's a very good go. However, whether it's worth it on, on uh, paying the money to Creation Club, well, I'll leave that for you to decide. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a Daedric bow that looks like a Daedric bow. Um, but is it worth money? Yeah. And you can tell yourself that. The one thing I will say is it does clip in Dungeons and Barrows on occasion. So what it did on my last run through. So hence I've got the bound bow as well. But between the two of them, you won't need a boat, another boat to your level 80, I guess. It could easily do up to level 80, even, even past that. Okay, so I want Moonstone Ore, there's some here. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so while we're running, I'll give you a few more details. Now, Ruin's Edge is a bow artifact with an anime sideboard just by the grip. To upgrade it, you need a Daedra Heart and the Daedra Smithing and the Arcane Blacksmith perk. It has a damage of 12 and its enchantment applies a random effect. Um, Demoralise, 20% chance. Drain Magicka, 10% uh, chance. Frenzy, 30% chance. Frost damage, 30% chance. Uh, a Paralyze effect for one second, 9% chance. And a Paralyze, 15 seconds, a 1% chance. Oh, and I love the uh, the randomness of the enchantments. I think the only thing better is the Chaos enchantments, which we should get sooner or later. Okay, so look at that. Damage 13. Uh, random replies one of the effects. And so look at it. It's a beautiful thing. I think it's a proper Daedric looking bow. And at the level we're at, which I think is level 4 or level 5. Level 4 I think we are. Um, this is an awesome weapon to get. And obviously it benefits from all the smithing perks. Sorry, uh, the archery perks. There you go. Sadly it can't be disenchanted. But... Uh, there you go, and the eyeball just keeps on winking at you. So let's go and uh, do some damage with it. Okay, so I'm combining it with the um, Arcane Archery Pack from Creation Club, and good night. <laughs> 
I have no archery perks or, or any skill in archery at all and uh, the poor little sap's gone. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it useful. See you next vid. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.